Hello and welcome to the five top features of Windows 10. My name is Kara Clifford and I am here at Learn It in San Francisco and I'd like to thank you guys for joining us for our Windows 10 five top new features. Uh, I'd like to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel. Um, we're always giving away free modules of desktop training. Um, you can attend an Excel class or an Adobe Photoshop class and learn all sorts of great stuff um, just for attending these webinars. So uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, check in the comment section for information on how to get those free modules of training. So we're going to focus today's webinar on the five top features of Windows 10, specifically the Start Menu, Cortana, Universal Apps, the Edge Browser, and improved multitasking. So we're going to go over each of those uh, topics and um, we'll uh, show you some tips and tricks and ways to make the most of Windows 10. So as I said, our first topic is going to be the Start Menu. The Start Menu has been improved. Um, it's a lot more similar to Windows 7 than it was in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Um, I couldn't be happier with it. It gives me all the ability to customize um, and still get the benefit of those tiles that we had in 8.1. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now. Um, we're going to move over to the bottom left corner of our screen. And um, just like before, if I click that Windows icon, it opens up my Start menu. So rather than it covering up the entire monitor, I now just have it in the bottom left corner. Um, I can even scroll up to the top and resize it if I want. So if I want to shrink it down or make it larger. Now the Start menu is really made up of two parts, the left and right side. The right side of our Start menu has all of our tiles. Um, where we've got the live streaming, you can see that my uh, Twitter app has, um, you know, gives me those images. You can turn that off if it's a little too busy for you. Um, you can also add more apps, more of your um, universal apps to this start screen, but you can see it comes with quite a few already on here. On the left hand side, we have our most used apps, then our explorer window, our settings, where we can power on and off and then our All Apps view. So if I select All Apps, it brings me into all of the apps currently on this computer. And if I came across one that wasn't available and maybe I wanted to have easier access to it, um, I can always right click over the top of that app and I have the option to pin it to the Start menu, pinning it to the taskbar, to uninstall or open the file. So again, I can quickly add this to my start menu or my taskbar. I'm going to go ahead and pin it to the start. And now I have it down here at the bottom. Now I can resize my Windows Media Player by right clicking on the top of it once it's been added to my start menu. And here I can change it to the small icon or a medium sized icon. I can also unpin it from the start menu or pin it to the taskbar all from this location. So really all you need to remember is to right click over the apps in the start menu to get all of those different options. So again, this is a, a great way to make the most of your Windows 10 is by spending just a few minutes customizing the start menu with the apps and programs that you use most frequently. If they're not available by default, remember you go to that All Apps view and that will give you all of the different apps on your computer and all you need to do is right click over the top to unpin it or pin it to your start menu. The uh, next topic I want to go into is Cortana. I actually um, was planning my week putting my schedule together for the week last night and I was um, adding items to my calendar like I always would normally by typing them in manually and I, I realized oh I'm using Windows 10 I should use Cortana and so rather than having to open up my schedule and my PDF and go back and add things to my calendar I just spoke to Cortana and used natural language to have her add items to my calendar so it's super convenient um, and I just want to um, show you guys. I think really the benefit of Windows 10, um, it, one of the big benefits is Cortana, but really it does require us to retrain ourselves. We kind of have to get into a new habit.
habits of speaking to our computer, not clicking and typing like we always have. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna move down to the bottom left corner of my screen um, where I have this section set, ask me anything. Now I've set up Cortana to turn on as soon as I say, hey Cortana, add an item to my calendar. All right, when's your event? Tomorrow at 8 a.m. What should I call it? Excel training. I can add Excel training to your calendar for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Is that right? Yes, change the end time to 5 p.m. Should I add this to your calendar? Yes. Sure thing. So as you can see, it was super easy to get that item added to my calendar. And what I was able to do is open up a PDF that had all of these events on it and just read them out loud rather than having to move back and forth. Um, it was really great. I was watching TV while adding items to the calendar um, and Cortana was a super great assistant. So um, was really helpful. So that's one of those things that Cortana does that makes this uh, Windows 10 so valuable. Again, I just had to remember to do it halfway through. So um, you have to remind yourself that you have this great feature of being able just to speak right to your computer. In addition to Cortana, um, one of the things that I've really loved in these last several weeks of working with Windows 10 is the um, Edge browser. So using the uh, Edge browser. Um, one thing that I learned though, I'm a, I don't tell Microsoft, but I, uh, I do love Google search. And so one of the things that was keeping me from using Cortana and Edge as much is not having it search Google. When I go down to the Edge icon in my taskbar right here, this is going to launch the Edge browser. And when it opens it up and it starts to search, it's going to be searching um, using Bing search. And so what I wanted to show you guys is a way that you can have it change and have it search Google. And that way when Cortana is searching the internet, she's going to be using the Google search engine instead. Now to do that, first we need to go to Google. So I'm going to go to the Google address. And uh, once I'm at the Google address, um, I'm not going to set it as my default, um, but I'm going to go up to the top right corner of my browser where I have those three dots, those dot, 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 the ellipses. And at the very bottom of this menu, you'll see my settings. I'm going to open up this settings, and it opens up a new pane along a right, on the right. Um, this, can, this is where you can go to change all the defaults, the themes, what it opens with. But if you scroll down a little bit, you'll get to a section called Advanced Settings. So I'm going to open up the Advanced Settings. And one of the options within the Advanced Settings is to search in the address bar with Bing. Or if you select the drop down there, it gives you the option to Add New. So I'm going to select that Add New. And um, you'll see, because I went to Google first, so again, that's, that's the big key here. Because I went to Google first, I now have this option here, Google Search. And I can change it and have it add it or set it as the default. So I'm going to go ahead and add it as the default. And now, if I navigate back to my regular browser and I use Cortana to search, hey, Cortana, Search the internet on San Francisco, California. See if uh, see if I set that right. <laughs> so I'm just going back to see if my my setting. There it is, search address bar. And then. There we go. It just took a second. It was leaving, leaving that Bing in there for a minute. So again, for those of you that are diehard Google search fans and that you don't want to get used to Bing, you do have that option with the Edge browser to go in and set that as your default. So when you search in the, the top search bar or if you use Cortana, you can have it search the familiar Google search engine. Although I will say Bing is getting a little bit better, so I try not to say too many bad things about it anymore. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to uh, one of our next topics, which is the universal apps. Now, this is really great for those of you that use a Windows phone or a Microsoft Surface tablet. Um, I love being able to leave my desktop computer and go to my Surface and have all of my apps be the same. So those universal apps make it really easy. Um, one thing specifically is Netflix. Hey Cortana, open Netflix. Um, all right. Hi. Starting Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> I'm a big Netflix fan. Um, I unfortunately spent a lot of the weekend watching Netflix. And um, one thing that I love is that right where I left off, whether I was, um, you know, you can see kind of some embarrassing things that I've been watching. Um, and I can uh, pick up right where I left off. The great thing for developers, you know, whether you're, you're developing apps in C++ or C Sharp, uh, JavaScript, is you can create one app and have it work for whatever type of um, viewing device. So whether you're building it, you only have to build one. And so that's something that um, I know a lot of people are really happy about it. As far as the end users go, I love how convenient it is. So um, again, we've got these universal apps available. And through the App Store is where you'll find lots of these. Um, there's some really great ones. The Twitter app is really good. Um, I'm a big fan of all of the um, all of the uh, you know productivity apps, uh, the OneDrive, the Calendar, and um, you can see that whether you're a gamer, whether you like to shop online, there's lots of really great apps available. And the beauty is is that wherever you happen to be viewing them from, from whatever Windows device, you're always going to have a very nice, clean experience. Let's go ahead and um, move on to our next topic. One of the my favorite things is how easy it is to multitask. Um, as I said, I love watching Netflix, but I don't want my Netflix distracting me from my work, especially when I'm trying to get a big project done. So one of the, my favorite things um, in Windows 10 is the ability to use this little icon right down here called Task View. So from the taskbar, we have our task view. And if I click that task view, it shows me all of the apps that I current, all of the programs that I currently have open. And what's great is down at the bottom right corner, I can add a new desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new desktop. And this is going to be my not working very hard desktop. Hey, Cortana, open Netflix. So I can have sure. my Netflix. Sure, opening Netflix. I can have my Facebook up. I can have all those personal Twitter and things that uh, distract me from work. And they don't get in the way. I can go right back to my task view, back to my desktop one. And here I can open up all of my actual programs, my OneDrive, my files, my calendar, things that I need to use to stay organized and on top of my projects, um, and be able to have those two different places to um, keep track of things. Um, if you're like me, you end up having 15, 20 different files open, and it can be pretty overwhelming. So it's really helpful to be able to multitask in a much more streamlined way. One other thing I really love is that if I want to split something into half screen mode or um, multitask with two different applications, um, I can drag this file over to the left, and as soon as it hits the left-hand side of the screen, it leaves me all of the other applications that I have open and whatever one I click it'll split that right into half screen mode for me. So again multitasking with Windows 10 has gotten even better. Um, I'm a big fan of it and um, definitely um, definitely think it's, it's very much improved. So there is five new features that I think are very, very valuable in Windows 10. Um, again, I'm just discovering things I love about it every time I use it. Um, we've got our Start Menu, our Cortana, Universal Apps, our Edge Browser, and our improved multitasking, uh, all things that I think are very valuable. Um, and again, it's just a matter of really taking the time to set up the computer for yourself. So uh, set up those start icon, that Start Menu and um, make the most of that Cortana search because, again, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Uh, thank you guys for joining us for our webinar. I encourage you to uh, subscribe to our channel. We're always having opportunities to attend free classes, prizes. So uh, check out our free live online desktop training. If you attend any of our web t Windows 10 webinars, you get a free desktop live online training class. A lot of really great stuff there. And you can check out the channel 
uh, information for, um, on how to subscribe or how to attend one of those classes. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Again, my name is Kara Clifford from Learn It here in San Francisco, California, and um, have a wonderful rest of your day.